Well, 92 Green Z34, uh, we have another beer review for you tonight. Um, it's one I already visited. It's my second video I've ever reviewed. Um, but I'm going to revisit it because Six Pontiac Nine has yet to try this wonderful beer. And uh, we'll have to uh, we'll have to just let him give you his opinions. But it's Shiner Bach, Bohemian Black Lager. Um, I guess I didn't have it quite in the fridge quite as long as it should have been. But I think it'll still be a very good beer. Um, I don't remember if I ever gave you guys a color cross-section on this one, and uh, I'll, I'll show you what what it looks like in a glass. I don't know, I might have, but we happen to have a, a glass that's about perfect for detecting color and, and viscosity, so I'll uh, show you what it looks like. Beautiful dark beer, huh? Just darker than tar. I love it. It's a nice, is dark. nice, nice thick head. The aroma of it is, is uh, it's definitely got a distinctive Shiner scent. Shiner, all every Shiner beer has the same smell, but they all have different tastes. So, like the Bach, for example, has a different taste. Um, I believe I had the the, the Czech. 101 or something like that. It had a different taste. I haven't reviewed that yet. I will. Um, but all of them have that same distinctive Shiner smell. So I guess I don't really know what to say on there. But uh, we'll, let, uh, we'll let John give her taste first to see what he thinks. Definitely has that dark beer taste. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's very much a black dark beer. It's actually really good. It's yeah. almost like it almost has a little bit of Guinness taste to it, but not the not the same bite as what that has. Yeah, but I mean, it is actually pretty decent. It's it has a finish smoother than velvet. I mean, yeah. it kind of it actually has a harsher maybe that's the way to describe it. It has a harsher taste going into your mouth. It, it almost has a more of a surprising flavor. But then the finish is just smooth. I don't know how smooth you can have a beer, and this is just a smooth beer. It's velvet. I mean, the initial taste is that of a uh, of Shiner, but the aftertaste is a roasted. I mean, it's very. I mean, it, it's very. It's. I don't know if it's roasted. Like a ro very roast malt. Yep. Like a, yeah, it is. It's exactly. a, it's a roast. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I was describing to John. It's more chocolatey than Guinness. It's been a while since I've had it, but no, it, it's less chocolatey than Guinness. It's more, more roasted. It's like if you had a coffee beer, but it's with the Shiner flavor. I don't know. You guys will just have to try at least one Shiner beer to know what I'm talking about there. But they all have that same. I don't know, kind of hoppiness almost to them, and they're uh, they're very good. I love them. Yeah, it is really good. Now, carbonation on this is relatively low, um, but it does have some. Whereas Guinness is. <coughs> Almost non-existent, um, but this it's it, it's uh, it's got a little bit of a fizz when you go down, but the the finish on it is so clean and it's it's well I shouldn't say clean it, it, it definitely has a film, but it's it's so smooth that you don't mind it. But I guess really that's uh, oh and am I gonna put anything else on it, John? I would suggest buying it if you like dark beers. Yes, and and that's very true to the cost. It, it's great. But uh, I guess really that's what we have for you on this particular review. As always, guys, have a good day.